Hello everyone, welcome back to the Hubian channel. It's Kitty here and this is my first day out in Sydney. Today will be all about scenic views. So right now we are heading to the Blue Mountain. We finally arrive at Scenic World. Here is the Scenic World steam clock. Ticket costs $55 per adult, $33 for child, and $49.50 if you have concessions. There are four different types of activity you can do, railway, walkway, cableway, and skyway. So here the lady are just showing us what and where we can do things and how long it will take. The first discovery we'll be doing today is the Skyway. So we waited around 10 minutes before the ride arrived to, for us to go in. This is what the Skyway ride looked like from the outside. When you go inside, I recommend you to go either side of the glass window for a better view. Though if you happen to be in the middle, you still can view the view by looking down. To my surprise, the skyway was very steady and moved super slow so you can really enjoy the view. got off the skyway, we decided to walk to the nearest lookout. We are now going to the water floor and it's 15 minute walk. After that, we headed to the Katoomba Falls. As you can see, today is the weekend, so it's packed with people. But the water for here is super pretty. It's such a nice view. And from my understanding, the falls is actually really long. Here is the view of it from the skyway. Then it's lunchtime, we headed to one of the cafe which called Terrace Cafe. This cafe is really packed as it is lunchtime and from the cafe you can see a side of the best view in the Blue Mountain. So for lunch, we got a pepperoni pizza and a hot dog. To my surprise, even though the hot dogs does not look good, but it was so delicious. So never judge a book by its cover, guys. <laughs> Our next activity, we will be checking out the railway. This line is quite long, so we waited about 15 minutes. Um, and here's some history from when they first built it to how it is now. You can read while waiting. So for this ride, you can adjust how steep you want it to be. When you get in the ride, there is a button on your right hand side where you can adjust the steepness of the seat. The ride itself is very quick, just over a minute and you really have to hang on to the bar. The whole time I was really worried that I would fall off my seat. Here is some background information on the ride itself. 
and this is what the railway ride looked like before nothing like it now which is more secure for me that just looks super dangerous so next we are doing walkway which will lead us to the cableway the walk is around 10 to 15 minutes So for the cableway, the ride is very short, I think it was like 5 minutes max. And yeah, if you have noticed, each of the way is actually color coded, like the railway is red, cableway is blue, skyway is yellow, and walkway is green. To get to Echo Point is about 5 minutes drive. So there's a walkway that you can go down to have a closer look at the three sisters. For a even closer look to the three sister, there is a about 20 minutes walk of up and down the stairs. There is a honeymoon bridge but is actually closed unfortunately. So yeah, this is the closest you can get to the three sisters. Up the stairs. I spot it. <laughs> What's up girl? They keep laughing at me. Oh my god, I'm dying. They wouldn't even walk all the way through. That was more than 10 okay. steps. <laughs> don't, don't listen to him huh? and the last stop for today is Lincoln's Rock and we're going to look for a cave it's only 300 meters <laughs> easy <Yeah>. super easy <laughs> to walk in to see the view it only took around 5 minutes I'm not sure why it said 20 minutes on the sign and look at this view, isn't it just breathtaking? <music> to find the cave I was talking um, to you guys about, you just need to walk a little bit further down. It's a little bit rocky, so be careful, but it's only about five more minutes. The view here is super amazing and you can take a really nice picture from here and that's it for my very eventful day super active as you can see hope you enjoy watching this if you are in sydney you must check out these places if you did leave a comment down below of what you think of these places also don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more video of mine and of course don't forget to follow me on all my social medias for more updates and until next time bye mm -hmm.